I did talk to my vet. Why are you doing this? <laughs> that is broken and that's not good. Holy mom, that's a double water bag. That is not yours. All hands and feet in the vehicle at all times. morning guys just finished feeding um, my new little triplets only one would drink so the other two appears to be drinking quite well off mom I strip out mom when she first gives birth just to make sure there is milk there but I'm never sure how much they're actually drinking I just like to know quantity like I just like to know that they've got you know 50 mils into them 100 mils into them 150 mils into them just to know they've had something so that's kind of why I'm doing that it's kind of a new it's a new thing I learned this from a farmer in Manitoba. I watched, I listened to uh, my friend Romy's podcast and uh, she interviewed Nathan from Manitoba. Uh, he's over on Instagram as well. If you want to check him out, he's he's got a, a large farm out there and the way he's feeding and the way he's doing things is pretty cool. Sorry, my battery died. I love taking home one key thing that, that I can add to my farm fairly easily that makes a lot of sense and he was just saying for insurance he just gives them uh he just gives every new lamb a bottle i'm pretty sure he said every new lamb um i've always done just any questionable new lamb or any multiple um just to make sure they've got some and to get them used to a bottle so we can pull them off and put them on the machine speaking of the machine that is going to get turned on today we have enough triplets here uh, so what Carissa will do, what she has been doing, she feeds these guys all with a bottle and what we'll do is we'll pick the we'll pick the best drinkers out of each set of three and we'll put them in the little pen that we have all set up embedded. Anyway, that's today's agenda, but right now I'm gonna run in and have a copy. Everybody's happy. When everybody's happy at four, I'm happy. Hello again, I am in the office. I want to update my feed sheet. Uh, the one thing about having those early lambs is that group, because there was only six of them, I didn't make a special ration just for them and they should be on a lactating ration. So now that I've got enough use between those two pens, I'm gonna put them, Lucy's in the background, put them on a lactating ration. All right, I got my, uh... I got my sheet made up, so I only have like 26 on the lactating rod. This is going to change almost every day. Probably I'll change it every other day. But yeah, so I have only six in that pen. So we'll probably mix the whole ration and kind of guesstimate. And yeah, so 94, 28 here. And then I had to take a little bit less out of that close-up pen. This is what they get per, this is kg per U. So I just have, um, I just have a formula that, that uh, multiplies that times that, puts it, over here and then this column is actually cumulative so this is what how our scale fills basically here let's uh give this to caressa who's coming up the lane right now <laughs> All right, I'm just letting this guy warm up. I put in some water. I want to clean it before I get the milk all going. Um, I did clean it a couple weeks ago, but I just want to give it another fresh scrub. So I want the water to warm up. It has to warm up anyway before this thing will run. So we'll get this all working, and then we're gonna grab whatever triplets drink the best. We're gonna grab one off each set <clears throat> and put them in this pen to start them off. Well, as promised, Watch out, Lucy. 
uh, I did talk to my vet. It confirms kind of what I was wondering. So the first few groups of multiples that I saw, I noticed that there was a size difference. I haven't seen that in a, in a few years. And I remember when we dealt with this before, we dealt with it a lot. And what we figured out was uh, when I was taking them off their flush ration after, uh, after I took out the rams, we took them off too quick. So now I've got the rations uh, to a four week, like I, I'm feeding a flush ration for four weeks after I pull those rams. So I, since I did that, I haven't had that issue. So when I first saw it, I'm like, I hope that's just a coincidence. Um, and then when I told Rex what I was seeing, he said, oh, that sounds like that placental development, just like when you have odd sized lambs. I'm like, well, funny you say that because I am seeing that as well. So he said, all right, we'll have to just revisit and make sure um, it's such a fine line because my, my ears are also overweight, some of them. So uh, oh, it's, it's just a really fine line to find that perfect balance to keep those lamb, those ewes that have a lot of lambs in them. They need, they need that requirement to the very, very end to get that placenta, especially if they're carrying four and five. He said the problem is they're multiples. So uh, it's just really, really critical for them. Whereas the ones carrying one, two, and three, not maybe as, like it is critical, but more than likely, the longer you keep them on the flash rush and they're gonna gain weight. And then that causes a whole bunch of problems. So it's tricky, it is tricky, it's good feed. But uh, you're dealing with lengths of how long to feed them that particular ration. I've already got five rations going right now. Anyway, we're going to work on it. We're going to... He just said that's what it is. It's nutrition. It's not a bug. He said, if you said the other lambs that were in the, feed, in the, uh, in the uterus with them, if they came out weak and struggling to live, he said, then I would say test them for a bug. But right now he said, nope, that's nutritional. Okay, it's all cleaned out. So now I'm gonna fill this guy with milk. Now, a lot of people ask me what I use. I actually use, I use the Grober milk replacer. It's a Grober machine. I just like to stay with the manufacturer. Grober's always treated me really well. I've had friends that have worked for Grober, so I just really like the company. But the one thing I do with the bottle babies, I always get the acidified. And a producer that I long admire told me this right out the gate when I was feeding bottle lambs. She said to help reduce bloat, she said feed, feed this. So this is not me recommending it. I just have switched to this when I switched to this machine and I've really never looked back. So um, this, is, this is what I use. Uh, it's not cheap, I'm not gonna lie. This stuff is, this is like gold. Uh, there's a lot of money sitting on this pallet so I hope sheep don't get out. Just manifested that, hopefully not. So I'm gonna fill this machine. So I want to show you what happens when I put it on auto. Fill with water and then it'll fill with the... Now what I will do, before she gets these going, we actually take the nipple off and bleed these lines. So we'll just let the, let the milk get all the way to the end so it's right there and fresh and warm every day for those lambs when they first get on it because they don't like water and they don't like cold milk. You like it. Oh, you guys. This mom that had triplets this morning is uh, decided she does not like her lamb. So I've just been watching her on the camera in the house and she's beating the living stink out of it. Listen, you were okay like two hours ago. What is the problem? Love your baby. You are fine. Why are you doing this? Oh. Okay, maybe she's all right. False alarm. So we will be pulling one of these anyway. Uh, we've already taken two of these guys' triplets out. Likely we'll pull this one anyway. They can turn instantly or they can turn a few hours later just ornery hormones crazy see 
See? I, like, I don't know if she's just annoyed because the lamb's at her face and she's trying to get trying to get it going that way because they do that. But she also is ignoring that lamb. Like, she wants to protect her lambs that she likes and doesn't like this one. And the fact that it's, that it's talking, I like, to be this young means it's not getting fed. So, I think you might become my lamb. What do you think? Carissa texted me at lunch here and said my feed cart pedal stopped working for her. Thank goodness she was done feeding, so I'm just going to take a look. Mm. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't think this is right. Yeah, that's just like hanging. Imagine this fits in kind of perfect right in there. So I'm thinking that is broken and that's not good. So I'm gonna have to go get Mark and he's gonna be not mad, not happy. Not happy at all. Well, it is late afternoon. I was in the house just warming up because it's winter again today. And uh, I looked at my camera and I'm pretty sure we got another lamb. Holy mom, that's a double water bag. Hello! You're hiding! Look at that! Is that a girl? Show the people your impressive water bag. Look at that. That's a lot of water. Got another one in there? Yep, she's marked for two. So that yellow uh, staining, I typically say this during every lambing video, but or every lambing period, but um, the yellow is called meconium staining. It just means um, they've excreted their feces inside that water bag and it just stains the lamb, but mom will have it licked off. You won't be able to tell uh, when she's all dry and cleaned off, so. Oh, it's getting cold. Yesterday felt like spring and today is just right to the bone cold. You know what I don't really want to try? I might try it since this is a nice mom. She'd probably follow me anyway. I see all my fellow producers. They, it's called a lamb pram. So they'll put the, put the lamb in like a wagon or like in a laundry basket and then have a big rope and then they pull it behind. I'm always scared that all the other ewes will freak out if I bring anything in, but my it hurts my back the way I have to bring those lambs up. So I think I might grab, I do have a laundry basket out here that I was gonna use. Stop stealing, that's not your baby. But I have to do it because uh, she's likely next because she's trying to steal. Don't, don't be bad. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it'll work. We might as well try, right? She's the only one lambing right now, I have time. Okay, now, I need a string or a rope. That's why I don't throw out anything. Okay, let's try that. Literally leave for five minutes and you've already taken off with this lamb. Go away. That is not yours. Another one. There. You go. They're not yours. Get. Seriously, go. They're not yours. Go. No. Go. Ugh. All right. You. Yes. All right. So you go in here. Yep. And you go in here. Oh. This works. Oh wow. <laughs> kind of impressed. They don't sound so. Don't get out. 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 This is awesome. Why haven't I done this? No, stay in your 
all hands and feet in the vehicle at all times. Oh, seriously. Go away, you. You're not the right mom. Stay in the cart. Stay in the cart. This is a lot easier than my back, I must say. Guys, we made it! That is amazing! Why haven't I done this before? Oh! I love my sheep people. You just gained me like 15 more years of sheep farming. Much to my husband's dismay. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of you. You go. You go. You go. Bye. Mom! This is okay. Okay. You weren't supposed to dump them out. There. Let's finish the voyage. The maiden voyage. This is awesome. Except for they keep jumping out of the vehicle. Mom, look at Oh, that's awesome. The eagle has landed. There you go. I didn't even get that's oh, not whatever. It works. Order a new one. A whole new part. Wow, well, it's like a special ball joint. Yeah, it looks like a yeah, it looks like a knuckle. Yeah. Hey. No, she's eating that. Do you even know what she's eating? Oh, I saw her take it. I don't know where she's getting them because I cleaned she it up. She digs it out of there. It's protein. Disgusting. It's protein. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. <laughs> okay, do you want to just get this up around the edge? I'm in the ghetto. Uh, it's got to be yeah, under that thing. Yeah. Yep. Got her? Yes, yes. I can always hear them before I see them. I hear you. What's going on? Nothing. So she could be a while. Darn it. So the problem with hearing that noise is she's just starting labor, so she could be she could be five minutes spitting out a water bag, or she could be three hours, or she could be tomorrow. And it's eight o'clock and I was really hoping all I was gonna have to do is feed some babies and go to bed. I really love my bed during lambing. So we're gonna let her do her thing. I am gonna feed some babies. At a girl. Let's try this again.
this happens twice. was right there so she's probably gonna have another one but I might just check <laughs> I'm so happy. That's so cute. Well, you know, I waited all day for lambs, and uh, this was pretty special. And what time is it now? We're at 10 to 9, so we're doing all right. I like to have these lights off in good time. I like to be out of the barn, you know, easily by 10, uh, get to bed by hopefully 10:30, and up at 4. So. I will be back tomorrow at four and we will see you then. See you tomorrow.